Gary, but today we're going to talk about common problems. And common problems with your backhand. A lot of people, what they tend to do is break their wrist when they play a backhand drive. When we're talking about a broken wrist, what we do is we talk about your wrist cutting back this way. So it actually breaking this way. So this, what we ask is we actually ask you to turn your wrist back as though you were looking at a watch on your hand. If you can do that, then that's about where your wrist should be. But a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll take their wrist back this way and they do that back here. And what they're after is when they swing through, they swing through here and they want that motion there to actually pick up racket head speed. Now it works, but it's really, really terrible power. And the reason it's terrible power is because if you understand what's going on, here's the racket. Your racket comes back here and you're literally throwing the racket head through the ball really flat. Now that just hits what we call a fat ball, a fat ball that bounces on and bounces forever. Secondly, it's only in the right spot really for a split second of time. So it's really only in the right spot right there, but it's not in the right spot there and it's not in the right spot there. So people that tend to do this, the ball comes back at them a lot. So it comes back and all of a sudden it's on top of them, so it's really difficult for them. So what we ask you to do is really simple. We ask you to turn your racket back, or your wrist back, sorry. So you turn your wrist back this way. And what that does is that sets your wrist. So when you come back here, if I take my racket up and back, and then I bring it down. I still haven't changed it. I still haven't changed the position of my wrist. Then I bring it down around here, and what I've done is I've dropped it that way, but I haven't dropped it this way. So I'll drop it that way. So I'll drop it down there. So it's still in the same position. And then I'm going to use body. And then I'll bring it through. And it's almost in a neutral position. So I've gone from there to there. And it's really in a neutral position, really early and really strong through the ball. And you can see that there's not much racket head movement through there. And the power comes from your body. So if you can understand that you use your body for power and your arm for connection, then it changes everything. It changes the way you work and the way you hit. So instead of standing here like this and doing that and trying to get power out of my arm and my wrist and whatever, if I just do this, see, see that arm there, that swing there? So then this is just, I'm not even swinging my arm and the racket's moving. And so that power there will go pretty strong and quite well into the ball. So we want to get rid of this. We want to try and keep our wrist back. And the way to do that is to actually Point to the top corner. So if I was to stand here, facing the side wall, 45 degrees, if I point my racket head to the top corner, it does this to your wrist. And that sets your wrist. So if you just start in that position there, and then when the racket comes around, the ball comes around, you hit. So, sorry, get my watch. And again, so there, there, around, and around, and around, and around. And around, and make sure I don't get too deep for the camera. So I hit lower, wrist back, wrist back, wrist back, wrist back, wrist back, wrist back, and it becomes pretty simple. Right, so that's it. Get your wrist back there. Don't ever break it. So never break your wrist at all. It's really, really bad for you to break your wrist back that way. So keep it back this way. At worst, it stays there. You can drop your wrist this way. That's fine. Yeah, but don't drop it in this way. As soon as you drop it in this way, it breaks. It's all gone. So you can drop your racket head down. And we actually teach to drop the racket head down for certain shots, and it's really, really beneficial. That's a broken wrist. That's not a broken wrist. That's an extension of your arm. That's terrific. So there you go. That's a broken wrist explained, hopefully. And you understand that back here, go from here, use your body to hit through there, and then it will come through beautifully. Because I turn my body through there, and at point of impact, I'm actually keeping my wrist back to hit the ball there, and I've used my body for power. Massive difference. Awesome results. Gary, here today we're going to look at a broken wrist and how to fix a broken wrist. Now, a broken wrist is when you bring your racket back this way and you bring it through. So we want to try and keep our wrist back this way. We've got Miriam here and she's going to help us and she'll help run her through the process of what we need to do to go and get the, the wrist set and to keep the wrist strong. So I'm going to ask you to play backhand drops. Can you play a little backhand drop to me? Just a little backhand drop. And again. Good. Right, so the real problem is when she drives, she brings her wrist back this way. But what we're going to do is we're going to try now and play the drop above that line. Do you think you can play the drop above that line? Okay, so it's got to be a real little one up there. 
Okay, just lift it up. Good, try not to flick it. Wrist back, wrist back, good. Okay, so it's the follow through we need to control as well. Oops, lost that one. All right, so I want you to wrist back this way. Wrist back this way, so keep your racket, see keep your racket flat to the floor. So that wrist back, that way is the one we want. We want to try and lift up. So can you lift up with your elbow? Lift up with the elbow, that way. See how the racket stays the same? Let's lift it up. Lift it up. Good. And again, get down low, get down low. Get down low and then lift it up. That's better. Again, down low and lift it up. Try not to flick. Try not to flick, just try and lift it up. So no flick, just lift it up. Good. And lift it up. Good. Start down low and lift it up. Again. Lift it up. That's all right. Good. Good. Wrist back. Keep your wrist back as well. Good. And again. Right. So that's pretty good. You've done really well there. But how about we try above the top one? That's pretty heavy, isn't it? So right up there. Right. Oh, I missed. Your turn. Not hard. You don't have to hit it hard. You just got to lift it up. Just lift it up. Whoops. My fault. Well done. Good effort, mine. Here we go. Lift it up. Good shot. Don't click, just lift it up strong. Nice and slow. Good. Nice and slow. Up again. Wrist back. Good. Keep your wrist back. Keep your wrist strong. And again. Lift it up. Good. Just slow. Slow arm. Slow arm. No, that's all right. Down to these ones again. Just little ones. Wrist back. Wrist back. And again. Okay, make sure you have your grip normal. Have your grip straighten up there. Good. I would take it out. Good. You got it there? So I just need to make sure you get your grip right every now and then. So you rack it just around to about there. So this line goes to the V of your hand. Now we're going to tilt that back and we're going to keep that there. So you've got to try and really get that back that way. Got it? Ready? Ugh. Go. Slow racket. Don't flick. No flick. Slow racket. Slow racket. That's better. Nice, strong, slow hit. Oop. Nearly, nearly, nearly got you. Really good. Slow. Good. Okay, so now the process is this. That's really good. We're going to do some drives down the wall, backhand. And every time you get it wrong, Every time you get it wrong, we're going to have to go and do five of those five of those drops up the front. So you don't want to get it wrong. Every time you get the drive wrong, every time you break your wrist, that will be it. Good. Again. Ah, you got your wrist. You dropped your wrist back. So you dropped your wrist back like this up here, quick. Five. Ready? Wrist back. Go. One. Don't flick. You've got to go nice and slow and strong. Good. Two. Strong body. Three. Four. Now ah, watch the flick. Five. Back here again. Let's go. Rack it back. Wrist back. So now what I want you to do is I want you to make sure that you set your wrist back like this when you start. So when you go back to your back end, you set your wrist back like you're looking at your watch. Yep, just like that. Ready? Wrist back. Love it. Again. Wrist back. And again, wrist back. One more, quick, grab the ball. Grab it. Here we go. And cross court. Quick one more. That one was nearly there. We'll finish on a good one. Well done, that's good. Go again. Head down lower. Down lower. Again, one more. We'll get there. Rack it around, wrist back. That's pretty good. You're still too high. So you just got to watch it. When you push your wrist back, the ball seems to go high. So start to aim a little bit lower or push down. So push down more this way. That'll make it go more down lower. So the last one. 
that is perfect. We'll finish on that one. That's fantastic. All right, so there's the process. We go and do, uh, we set the wrist in the first place and making sure we've got a correct grip. We drop it back and we do a, a routine because you cannot possibly hit the ball up if your wrist is over this way. So that's why we want to do those lift up drops. Lift up drops will fix everything. Go back to the set drive. Once she gets that uh, wrong, go back to five and do that repeatedly until she gets the outcome. Great job.